Hey everyone, this is Lola Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today I'm back here in the Sound Design channel. Today I'm recreating a pad called Flex and it sounds like this without sidechain. You can check the MIDI over here. Now, if we put a bit of sidechain, any cue and listen in context. Pretty cool sound, right? And you can get this preset over here in the description below in the Melodic House Serum Pack called Feelings that again is available over here in the description below. But now let's get started with this preset and let's get down to Serum. So we're gonna start Serum essentially like this. And we're gonna start by selecting here a spectral wave called Solid Phase 2. We're gonna put the octave to 2. And we're gonna put the fine to something like this because we want to detune it with the oscillator B. Now, oscillator B, we're gonna select an analog BD sign. We're gonna put this octave up. And in addition to that, we're also gonna put the fine to something like this. So you can already hear some sort of detuning, but now let's get down to both oscillators. So in the oscillator one, we're gonna start by selecting, let's deactivate oscillator B. We're gonna start by selecting here five voices of unison. A little bit less detune. A bit more blend. And we're gonna change the wavetable position. Something like this. Now we're gonna activate oscillator B because we're gonna activate the FM from B over here. And this is how it sounds like. Can you see how it changes the sound? But now we're gonna go into oscillator B and change it a little bit as well. In oscillator B, we're gonna change the unison to three and the detune to something like this. Now the blend is gonna go a lot up. Oh, down actually. And in addition to that, we're also gonna put over here a bland plus minus. And we're also gonna change the phase a little bit. The randomness a little bit over here. And the panning a little bit over here. Now, lastly, we also have to change the level of oscillator B. And that's pretty much it with the oscillators. In addition to that, we're also going to choose the noise. We're going to do this afterwards. So now let's get started with the LFOs to create the modulations. Let's start with LFO 1. We're going to put the rate over here to two bars. And we're going to put this here in the FM. And also in the bland plus minus. But we're going to create a new shape over here. It's going to be something really different. You can create anything. Essentially, it's just a random LFO and you can do anything literally. Now, in addition, we're going to create some bands over here. Now, in addition to this, we are also going to change the envelopes. And in the envelopes, the first thing that we're going to do is change the release because that's the most important part of the envelope. But we're also going to pick this release and put it a bit down. In addition to that, the attack is going to go up. But this handle over here is going to go a little bit up as well. The sustain is going to go a little bit down. And the decay also a little bit down. And that's pretty much it for now. In addition, we're going to go into the filter. We're going to select an MG Low 12, 18 actually. 
And the 18, we're going to select A, B, and the noise. But we don't hear anything of noise because in the noise, we're going to select an ARP circuit and the level is going to go quite down. We barely hear any noise. But everything over here is going to be modulated with LFO2 before we do anything in the filter. In LFO2, we're going to select an off BPM anchor and we're going to select as one half. And we're going to attach this to the cutoff in a unipolar way. And also to the level of the noise. But the LFO is not going to remain like this. We're going to change it a lot. We're going to start by doing this one. We're going to choose another one and do something like this. Another one that is going to be like here and another one that is going to be here. Now we're going to start and select a point down below over here. Another one is going to be really sharp and another one that is going to be really sharp over here again. Now this one goes up. This one goes down. This one is going to bend a little bit and also possibly a little bit more to the left and also this one a little bit down. Really cool effect, right? And that's what creates the effect of this pattern. And that's why this is really important. Now, shaping the filter, we're going to select the drive to be a little bit up. The fat also a little bit up. And the resonance down. If you want to make this more open. But that's up to you. So now that's essentially it in the oscillator section. Now we're going to go into the effects section and in the effects section, we're going to just select a reverb, an EQ and a compressor. Let's start with the reverb. So the reverb, the first thing that we're going to do is put the wet a little bit up. But we're going to make this reverb a little bit smaller by changing the size, the decay. We're going to increase a little bit of the low cut. We're going to decrease a little bit of the high cut and also decrease a little bit of the spin and the spin depth as well. But this has too much low end, so we're going to select an EQ with a low cut and this is going to go a little bit like this and the frequency a little bit down as well already tames a little bit of this low end. Now, in addition, we're going to select a bell curve and we're going to boost a little bit of the highs. The Q of the bell is going to go really down. The frequency a lot up. And the gain a lot up as well. Now, lastly, a compressor in the compressor, the threshold is going to remain pretty much as it is. We're just going to give it a little smidge up the ratio as it is. The attack is going to go a lot up. We don't want to capture any transients. The release is going to pretty much stay as it is. The gain is going to go a little bit up, but the mix is also going to come down. And you can hear that this sound is pretty open and the original sound was a little bit more close. And that's because the cutoff of this sound has to go a little bit down as well. And that's pretty much it. If you listen in context, let's activate the EQ and the shaper box and also change this routing. can pretty much open this. Really cool sound. I hope that you liked it. And again, you can get it over here in the description below. This is Lilo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab signing off. Ciao. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, please check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready-to-use and club-tested serum presets. You can browse by the genre and style you're looking for or get the incredible deal with the full serum preset button. Thank you for listening and now let's get back to your tutorial.